Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Q Sports International, it's our pleasure to welcome you to the 2015 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. We're coming to you live from the Predator Arena here at the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, the home of the U.S. Open 8 and 10-Ball Championships and the home of the BCA Pool League's National 8-Ball Championships. Our event is sponsored by Predator, the official Q of the U.S. Opens, Kamui, the official tip, and Omega Billiard Supply, our official store. We also would like to recognize our associate sponsors, our hosts here, the Rio Hotel, for the past three years, along with Diamond Billiard Products, Simonis Cloth, Cyclop Pool Balls, The Magic Rack, and Bad Boys Billiard Productions. Our deep appreciation to all those companies for their support of CSI events. We're about to play the semifinals. The winner of this match will proceed to the final match in approximately two hours against Mike DeShane. Right now, it's my honor to introduce our two competitors. Our first player is from Honolulu, Hawaii. He's a former nine-time member of Team USA's Moscone Cup. He's also a former Moscone Cup MVP. He holds US Open championships in nine ball and in 10 ball. Sponsored by Universe Clothing, Andy Cloth, TheBreakRack.com, ILoveQs.com, Town Break and Jump Tips, and Moose Billiard Shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rocket, Rodney Morris. Thank you very much. His opponent from Beast League, Surigao del Sur in the Republic of the Philippines. This gentleman's a former U.S. Bar Table All-Around Champion. He's a former Derby City Classic All-Around World Champion, and he's a former World 8-Ball Champion. Sponsored by Bugsy Promotions and Tiger Products, it's Robocop, Dennis Orcuyo. <laughs> Gentlemen, good luck. One race to nine for the right to go to the championship. This time, my honor to send it to the booth to our commentary team, Jay Helfert and Bobby Cotton LeBlanc. Take it away. Thank hey, you, Kenny. Thanks, Ken. Hi, Jay, and I'm telling you, it is a pleasure to be doing this with you right now. I feel the same way, buddy. Thank you. I feel the same way. Well, we got a good match in front of us here. Yes. Rodney's coming off a loss to Mike DeShane on the hill. That was a t that was a tough match to lose either way there. Yeah. But you know, I always say if you're going to lose a match, you want to lose the hot seat match because you only got to win one match to get right back in the finals. Of course, it's not going to be easy playing Dennis or Coolio. I bet this match goes fast. Uh, these guys play pretty quick. Well, Dennis don't play too quick, does he? Well, he, he, he does if the balls are in the open. I'll tell you what. Once, once Dennis makes up his mind how he wants to go through a rack, he doesn't waste any time. I know Rodney plays pretty quick. Rodney does play fast. He, ra he ran racks. He was at, he, Bobby, he ran racks in that last match in 90 seconds. Uh, yeah. He's got a powerful break, too. Got a powerful break. That's unusual the cue ball didn't get kicked down to the end rail. And nothing went. Yeah, look at the spread, too. He spread all the balls out, got got most of the rack down table. Bill Stock is coming out here to remove the uh, magic rack for Dennis. Well, we'll see what he chooses here. Tell you what's on the line here. The loser will finish third. 5,000. The winner will be in the top two, guaranteed 7,000. So there's a minimum of 2,000 on the line here. And of course, the winner of the finals is going to get 11,000. Nice chunk of change for three days' work. Yep. Beats digging ditches, that's for sure. Yep. I'll tell you what, these, a lot of times we hear complaints about the money in pool, and yes, it doesn't compare with tennis or golf, but I never heard anybody complain when they got handed a check for ten or eleven thousand or fifteen or twenty. Yeah. Darren Appleton won a English eight, won an eight ball tournament in uh, China a couple three months ago. That was worth a hundred thousand. So I don't care what sport you're playing, a hundred thousand is a good payday. There is money in pool if you can win at the highest level. You heard what happened earlier today with Shane. I think you were here when that oh, happened. Oh yeah, were you yeah, on? yeah. Well, yeah. Well, he took he took the blame. He knew he was in the wrong. Dennis, see, Dennis will take a, a a good period of time deciding which balls he prefers. What we've seen in this tournament is more often than not, 
the player who shoots first is going to try to run the balls. There are not a lot of safety games. Now, in that last match, there were two or three games where it was a safety battle mm -hmm. back and forth, but that's the exception rather than the rule. Bobby, I've enjoyed having you as a roommate. <laughs> yeah, because I'm never there. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Uh, yeah. I, want to say that. Honestly, I never heard you snoring. Never made a noise. I'm so clean. <laughs> never left nothing. Yeah, the bathroom's clean. Everything. Everything. You're very neat. Thank You're you. You're very neat. Thank you. I barely knew that you were there. Yeah. <laughs> and you were barely there. Yeah. Well, he's finally decided to take the stripes. I like this. This is a good shot. He's yeah, he can just stop the ball and then shoot the 11 in the side. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's acting like he doesn't like it. I don't know why. Well, I don't really see any real problems here. I mean, well, these two the balls 15. down here is a, yeah. could be a problem, but I don't know. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to let him do his thing. There you what do you go. think? There you go. I ain't well, saying nothing. I'm a lot of a, a, lot of a bust don't out. Leave, don't leave me up here alone, I'm about to bust out with a story here in a minute. I'm <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I like that he got the cue ball off the rail. Mm -hmm. That's the 14 down close to the end rail, which he's going to have to deal with, I think, before he goes up table. He might shoot it next. Yeah. I like shooting one of these balls in the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe he's shooting this yeah. and drawing back and shooting the 14 next. There you go. See, you just thought I was hitting the bags. I've been out, been gone for an hour or two. Yeah, you're huh? right back in dead stroke. See, I'm right back. I just don't know what he's going to do with these balls down here. These are. These he are, may play a combination. Yeah, it he looks may like come down. Yeah. He may play down and come down and get. If he gets right on the eleven, it's really good because he can shoot the combination and then leave. Yeah, that's where he's lining up. There you go. I'm not quite as expert as Ken at diagnosing these layouts, but once they start shooting, I can kind of figure where they're going. Big first rack for Dennis Orcullo. He'd love to get ahead one game, especially off Rodney's break. Sure makes you feel good when you win that first game, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I don't know why it so, seems so yeah. important. I, I'll tell you what. It just takes the heat it off gets, a It gets bit. a little discouraging if you just get down. If you get down like two to nothing, you start I pressing. Know. I know. Isn't that yeah. weird how that works? Yeah. Well, we've been there. He has to get it. So he's coming all the way over for the nine. He went that way. Well, he's got to hope he hits. He can hit it easy enough to shoot the 13 next in the side. I think so. I think so. Just slow roll this nine ball yeah. in the pocket and then come off the rail. That's what he just laid his cue down there for an instant where he wants the cue ball to be. We thought he was going to play the combination, but he fooled us. Just got to roll this ball, just uh -huh. center ball. They don't come much better than this guy, I'll tell you. Good shot there. I mean, I, lo I love the way he gets down on the ball and mm -hmm. focuses. He just, he's a, he's a deadly pool player. Yes. He moved forward. He wants to shoot the eight in the side. Should be fine here. You know, the kind of mental errors that we see some of the other players shoot, that's not part of Dennis's game. He typically uh, completes the shot. There he, oh, he needs a triangle. You know, he changed his break today. I don't know he's if you saw He's hitting it. the second ball. Yeah, he's hitting the second ball. 
yesterday we saw him all day long trying to shoot uh, with his hand on the on the table and shoot straight at the head ball and it just did not work for him and yet here he is he's still alive in the tournament he had to win a bunch of matches on the loser side to get to this point I was watching practice that second ball break a minute ago and both times he was getting the cue ball to come out and he was making the ball and he was getting the cue ball to come out toward the center a little bit so we'll see if it keeps working I believe the finals is, is a race to 13, right? Yeah. Race to 11. 11? Race to 11. That's still a long race. Uh-huh. Bobby, this is our 10th day here doing this commentary. I, you know, actually, it's gone by fast. It seems like I can't believe it's been, we've been here that long. Yeah. 10 days. It yeah. doesn't seem like that long. Yeah. Actually, for the first time in a week, I went and visited my condo. You did? It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> I got to take you by and show you my pad one of these days. Oh, yeah. See, he's getting the cue ball out in the middle. He made a ball. This is a nice break here. Nice spread. Nice spread oh, here. Yeah. This is what you want. Well... He can take either one here. I think he's going to take the stripes because of the two. What do you think, Jay? I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, if he takes a solid, he's going to have to shoot the five ball. I'd shoot the, this ball, the 12 on the side, and he's going to float down for the 10. Yeah, the two is a little bit of a difficult ball, although it could be made in the side. You called it. Stripes all the way. Oh, this ball here goes, yeah. Yep. It looks like he might even be leaving the 12 for the last ball. He can't be shooting the combination. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised he's not shooting the 14 right now. Yeah. And just swinging over there. I don't, yeah. I mean, if you want to shoot the combination, you still should shoot the 14 first, which he may do. He can shoot the 10 and break them, or he can shoot the 4. Yeah, he's going to shoot the 10 ball and knock the 13 just back just, up. Yeah, just tap that ball like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful shot. That one ball's got him kind of funny on the shoot to 13 the side. You know what I mean? It's got him blocked. Well, yeah, he's looking to see if the 13 will go down in the corner. So I got one pocket that will go in. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's getting the bridge out to shoot this 11 ball. Boy, wouldn't it be nice if he could bang into this one ball? No, he didn't even play. This is not good. Always perfect. Oh, you think he can shoot the 13 in the side? Oh, yeah, can he? He's right on top of it. I'm surprised Rodney's not asking the referee to come out and watch this hit. Yeah, he might not even hit shoot it. I think he will. He's got to really jack up his cue. You know, to keep from fouling. That's what he wants to shoot. That's what he wants to shoot. Hmm. He's looking at it from like three different angles here. Now he's going the other way. Are you proud of me, Bobby? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> well, he's going down in the end here. 
what's he going to do? Oh, the 13. He's on the wrong side of the ball and everything. He's all jacked up now. Look well, maybe that. he can draw behind it off the off that 12 ball. Yeah. I don't. Well, he, he got really goofy here. He might can shoot in the same pocket watch. That's what he's going to try to do. Draw back, shoot in the same hole watch. Well, he's going to end up shooting into this first side that he was. Boy, he, yeah, I think he's okay. He can shoot it in the side and slide down for the eight. Yeah, he got there. Not the easiest rack, but Dennis uh -huh. negotiated it. Two to nothing. You all right? I think so. I'm all right now. <laughs> Don't leave me, Bobby. Don't leave me, Bob. I'm fixing to go get a Coke. <laughs> you got cranberry juice, man. That's all you need. Yeah. They're teasing me up here because I, I like to mix uh, Pepsi and milk. That's a drink that I like. And, uh, I've never, ever even heard of that before. Well, I'll try it sometime. It's good. Just real milk? What, what, what other kind of milk? Well, you have silk. Almond yeah. milk. Oh no 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 no! It's got to be. It's I, actually pref preferably I use lactate, you know, non-fat lactate. But they've got two percent milk in the I break room. Had, there. I haven't had a glass of milk in f at least forty years. Do you drink soy milk or silk milk or S almond milk? S silk. Ooh. You do silk, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I drink actually. I drink cashew milk and. Um, there's another one that's really good. I just started drinking. I can't remember what it was. You eat awful healthy, man. Oh, yeah. Strictly vegetarian, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Not that it means anything. You know. But do, I mean, do you, will you eat poultry or seafood? No. Uh -uh. Wow. Not. You really are vegetarian. Yeah. No. Well, these balls are sitting really, really tough. Jay, I don't know what you should start to shoot with here. Well, it's real nice when you got ball in hand, I'll tell you that. No, but everything's tough. Look, the nine's sitting tough. The, the, I guess the 11 goes by the five. I don't know. Maybe not. Looks like, I mean, if you're going to take stripes, you got to start with that 11 ball. No, yeah. it goes. It goes. Oh, okay. I'd I, I, I got to take nine. stripes just because the 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 three is, too, is tied up. Yes, exactly right. I would sh you know what I would do. I'd shoot the fourteen and no, he's taking this. Look at this. Oh, he's going to break them right now. He wants to break it right now. That's a good. That's a good. That's good too. I wonder if the eight goes in the corner pocket. Off the fourteen. Yeah, past the fourteen. That's pretty important. Of course. Well, let's see. He may just run into the three ball here. Oh, that's yeah, that's what he's doing. Well, he put that ball in play. He can shoot the two ball or he could shoot the seven down in the corner. I mean, if the eight goes, why not just shoot the two now? Mm-hmm. The way he's acting, he does not have to break up the eight ball. He's acting as if it will pass. We need to see that left side camera just to tell if it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it looks like it goes, doesn't it, Bobby? Mm -hmm. So that's not a problem for him. He's he is going to shoot the two ball next. If I if I was shooting and I could move that magic rack, I'd make sure it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. He hasn't asked. Uh, our tournament official, Bill Stock, to move the magic rack. Yeah. Probably go up for the four ball next. Oh, he wants to get, he was trying to get all the way down the one. I don't think he, don't maybe why. he'll shoot it. You can shoot the seven and swing right up. I don't know what, the, you know, the ball that's hanging. He's going to leave that three ball for last. He wasn't doing that. He's trying to get on the four. Yep. Yeah. Well, fortunately, he's got that seven ball. He can use that. I still don't. I still think he's going to save that three ball. Yeah.
Does he even know the seven sitting there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I don't see the big problem here, do you? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't see it either. I mean, I, I think that it's a foregone conclusion. He's going to go over and shoot that seven and, and just get, come up to, on the four. Try to shoot the four next. That's it. He's just worried about getting from the four to the five without hooking himself. Well, I'm Look surprised. I'm really no, surprised he if he not. takes this ball. He Why? Did. No, Why? he's not doing that. Why? Why is he saving? The, well, maybe he's going to shoot the seven last, but. You have to shoot the seven here and then get on the four. Don't you think so, Jay? Well, I think that's the way we would play it, but, you know, these guys got a mind of their own. He's, he looks confused. I mean, he really looks confused. I don't know why. It, it, you know, when you think about it this long, that's when you make mistakes. That's when you make mistakes is when you spend this much time on four balls that are all really out in the open. If he I mean, this is Dennis Arcoyo shooting, he is it? Or do I have him confused with somebody else? I mean, I, I would have expected Dennis to to be out by now. Well, after all that thinking, let's see if he can do the right thing. That's, after all that, he does that? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that's your famous line, Bobby. <laughs> after all that, this is what he does? I'm telling you. You know, you know he rolled a little far. He, he did. He doesn't have the angle he wanted. He like did. I said, you know, when you think about it so long, it's like you make it tougher. He may shoot to three now. He's he's made these last balls more difficult oh, yeah. than they than they really are. He did not get the angle he wanted on the no. floor. He wanted that cue ball to stop. He kind of outthought himself here. I guarantee you Jason or Rodney would have shot these balls. We'd already been in the next rack. Next rack might be over. He still should win the game, but he's made it look much more difficult than mm -hmm. it should have been. He can just go to the end, just bring the cue ball up between the four and that and 14. 15. Four, yeah, the 15. Just, just use a little shade yeah, of left right there. Just right through there. A little bit of inside, hits the rail, comes straight up the rail. But the position is going to be a lot tougher getting on the eight because he got rid of the three. Yeah, this is this is not so easy here. He's got a lot of traffic to get through. I think he he, he can use high right and come right up that gap. Well, that's what he's going to have to do. He even here he wanted to be straight in on the four so he could draw the ball, but mm -hmm. he can't draw it now. He's going to have to shoot a good shot here, and that 15 is a big ball. It's like mm -hmm. a big blocker for Rodney. Good camera work here. Good camera work here. See, a little bit of right English. Got to miss that 15 and the 13. Well, he hit the 13. He's got a shot at the 8, but he'd like to be past the side pocket. He smacked right into the middle of the 13. This isn't too hard, though, you know. It might look hard here, but this is not a hard shot. Well, after all he's gone through. He's made it hard. Yeah, he's made it look hard. And that is, I mean, for all appearances, it looks like he's feeling some pressure, this rack. Well, the cue ball went bouncing all over the table, but game's over. He's got three. Dennis worked overtime, that rack. Yeah.
winner of this match is going to play Mike DeShane next. That match will probably go off somewhere between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. Once again, it will be a race to 11. So we've got a lot of pool yet to be played tonight. Don't go anywhere. Bobby, don't you go anywhere. I ain't going nowhere. I need you, man. I need I'm you. here. I'm here for you. Uh, <laughs> and I'm here for you. <laughs> uh, hey, we've had a good time this weekend. I've we? had a blast. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully we get to do it again soon. Nothing else going on, is there? This is it. Yeah, well, as far as the streaming thing goes, there's other events. Oh, there's other events. I've done streaming on a, with a, a whole bunch of people. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you maybe, maybe when uh, Ray Hansen does something, we'll get together again. We'll see. See, he's got this break down now. He's, he's Ooh, another good break. The nine got a little, the eight ball got a little tricky. I'm not sure if it'll go in the side pocket. Well, you know he's going to be taking this. The, well, look, oh, 7 and 12 is, is tied up. So is the, yeah, 7 and 12 is and tied up. 6 down here. The 11 and 9 are together, but it looked like they're dead in the corner pocket. Dennis is in no hurry. Well, we'll see what he decide, decides to take because I don't know. This is a guy that is used to winning titles and when he gets close like this he's going to do whatever he needs to do to win this match and then the next one I guarantee you the only thing he's thinking about is first prize if this 11 is wired off the 9 I think he's shooting the, the 9 now he's going to shoot the 9 and make the 11 I don't if, if he, hasn't, he hasn't really looked at it I don't, maybe you don't go out it looks like, look like he's going to the short rail but I yeah, you might be right. Yeah, it's, I, don't it's, it's, I don't think it's going in the pocket. If it was wired, he would shoot it right now, I would really believe. The solids does not look like such a bad choice. And he's got that one ball to start it off with. Mm-hmm. It'll move the six some kind of way. I don't know how he's gonna maneuver this around. He's going. He's going into six right now. Look at this. He's hitting six right now. Look. He's loading up. A lot of right English. Nicely done. Nicely you see, done. You know, I'm how he did that. He hit that ball with seven o'clock. Yeah which widens the angle when he hits the rail, it widens. If he'd hit that ball at 1 o'clock, he would come up like four inches short. Widens the angle way wide. It's a hell of a shot he made. My friend Charlie out in the audience, he's looking. Shut up. I'll tell you what, the ringside seats are great here. All these sweaters, you know, these whatever, him and... Larry Schwartz was here earlier. You know Larry. Yep. You've played on teams with him, haven't you? No. I thought you played with him out of Chicago before. I played with Bruzo and them it's many years with Bruzo mm -hmm. and Mike Bandy and them guys, but Larry was never on the team. He so. came later. He came later. He Maybe. was on some of the teams. Well, Bruzo ran teams for like 20 years. Yeah. I played with George Michaels. and. What about Freddie the Beard? Well, you played with Billy and Cardona too, right? I played against him. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, I beat him once. Well, one time I played him a race of 13. I beat him 13 to 3. Oh, my eight God. Eight ball. It was eight ball. Yeah, wow. On a bar table. Did you ever play Larry any eight ball? He no. was a good eight. He's a good eight ball player. He No, he never he never had enough nerve to play me. Nothing. He was, yeah, he was a little no, tight. He, yeah, he wouldn't play me. You couldn't put a, you couldn't melt him and pour him on me. <laughs> That's the truth. You're funny. Bob. No, it's the truth. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. Listen, back then I didn't. Back then I played everybody. I well, you played the best players. I know that. I, didn't, I could care less. You know, if I got beat, I just play. I wanted to play. Yeah. But anyway. So, what's Dennis going to do from here? I mean, it looks like the three will go in the side. You know what? Yeah. If he was, you know, here's what he's trying to do. If he could have got a little bit more straight in on the three, he would shoot the three. 
and shoot the five and go across and hit and hit that seven. Yeah. And use a four as insurance. Well, he might be. He might be. Oh, wow. He's drawing the ball here. Trying to get on the five. See, just a little soft draw, just like that. Too far. He's trying to hold it to shoot the five next and then go into the seven and tear those balls up. Well, now he's got to shoot the four, come up, and he's got to use the five. Yeah. You know, he could also, if he gets on the five, he could get on the other side of that seven no, ball. I don't, but I don't think it goes anywhere. It doesn't go on the side. And I don't think it goes in the corner. It looks like the 12's in the way. See what I'm saying? Can it, will it, go, it doesn't go anywhere. Well, it looks like it'll go in the side past the eight. Does it? It's yeah. close, yeah. But... Dennis Arcullo is in no hurry. I'll tell you something funny after this rack over about one time I was playing Freddie. It's really funny. I was playing him in one pocket in Chicago. Well, we all got Freddie with the beard stories. What a classic guy he was. He was only the funniest guy on the planet. Yeah. Pretty smart guy, too. Let's see what Dennis can come up with here. Yeah, he is playing shape for he's gonna play that angle on the five. And try to hit he's trying to hit the seven. This is Does it go? It looks like, it looks like that's, he I it told goes. you, I said it I think it goes in the side pocket. He really controls that cue ball well, but he's gonna get challenged right now. He's trying to hit it. By God, he hit it good, too. That's not bad. He hit the right side of the ball. Hit the, yeah. hit the, run, hit the 12 like that. That was a great shot. So he's going to shoot the 7 all the way up in the corner. Yeah. Slide over to the side of the rail where the 8 ball is. It's a great shot he made. These are the hardest cut shots when you're really close to the object ball. you gotta hit. You got to hit just perfect. He's drawn into the short rail, which I like. No, he's not now. Now he's, now he's following it. No, no, he's drawing it. <laughs> he's following it. He's drawing it. He's drawing it. He's following it. Okay. But the important thing, he better make it. I think he's going into the short rail and bouncing up. All right. So he's got to hit it stiff then. There you go. Wow. Does it go on the side? It's tight. It's, no, oh, it's now he's looking at the end. Wow. This is this is a tough eight ball then. If he's going up in the end, this is, now he said, it he's looks like he said point. side pocket. No, he's shooting the corner. Oh, okay. That's a hard shot. Wow. Okay. So he I'm, hit that good. So I'm playing Freddie one pocket at the Billiard Cafe, right? And we're playing a couple hundred dollars a game. This is like 1980. Yeah. So we both need one, and the game takes like an hour. And I finally made the game ball, and I scratched. Oof. So he wins the game. So there's like 100 people watching the Billiard Cafe. So I go into the restroom, and I screamed really loud. And I didn't think anybody could hear me, but they, everybody heard me. Yeah, I yelled like that. Yeah, you were so mad. I was so mad. I yelled yeah. at the top of my lungs and in the bathroom. I come out and everybody's dying, laughing. I didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't know they could. I didn't mean to yell that loud. Yeah. I thought you know, but it just came out. I was so mad. And they came out. And everybody's dying, laughing. I felt so stupid. But but Freddie was hard to play because he, I, he, you laugh the whole time. Oh yeah. He was a trip. Oh yeah. He, he would say funny. stuff that like, dude, you know, like he would come up. Some, oh. He come up some crazy shit, you know, oh, crazy stuff. Good break, good break by Rodney. Wow, Dennis is ahead four to nothing. He's worked hard for every game, but he's completed every rack he's shot at. Rodney needs to get off the schneid. Well, he's just trying to figure out how to get on the eight because there's no doubt about taking the solids, right? There's no doubt about that. Yeah. He just doesn't know how to fall, fall down that end rail. But Ten's kind of blocking that. You know, he's... This well, is, everything's out in the open. Yeah. He made solids on the break. He's just trying to figure out how to get on the eight when he gets down that far. Well, if he can, if he can use the ten ball, he'll be on the eight. I don't know. What yeah. was he? Where is he going there? Why did he go that far? I don't know. Can he see the one ball? Yeah, but 
Can he? Well, if you can see the one ball, he's all right. Yeah, he can see it. He almost went too far. Yeah, but I th this is a hard one for him to reach. He's got to really stretch out here for the three. I mean, I don't think he wants to shoot that two up in the corner. I think no. he's going to shoot the three. and he, he might need the bridge. Let's see. Now he's looking at the two up in the corner. Oh, he can reach. He can. Boy, he's a big guy. He can definitely make the eight in that corner pocket. He's just got to play good position on it. And it's coming up soon. This is a must-win game for Rodney. He can't give this game away to Dennis. Dennis has already got a commanding lead. What happened there? He's trying to hit the 11. He made that ball. <laughs> he kicked it in from nowhere. He kicked it off another. Wow, what a shot. He just got up there and frammed it. <laughs> He's laughing. He's laughing. This is not getting any easier, though. <laughs> oh, he, he's calling the kick shot on the eight. This is a lot easier than the last one. Let's see. Did he get it? Did he get it? Did he get it? He got it. No problem. Easy run out for Rodney Morris. <laughs> Even Dennis is laughing. Even Dennis is laughing. Huh? <laughs> Somebody says something to Ronnie. Ronnie says, well, would you, would you have chosen a different pattern? Yeah, yeah. That's, that was a miracle out there. He, just, he, kicked. he kicked it into balls, and it went in. Well, looks good on tape. Can you imagine what that ball was that he kicked that ball in? <laughs> That's funny as can be. As funny as can be. <laughs> Kick that ball in from there. Dennis has still got a big lead, four to one, and he's breaking. He's real big if he didn't kick, kick that ball in. His break has worked pretty good so far. He's been breaking them good. Got to hit that second ball, and he did. Ball went down. He's got a big cluster close to the side pocket that he's going to have to deal with. Yeah, but he, this, these are hanging, Jay. Look, the only ball he's got that's anywhere near tough is the five. You know, if he gets on the five, it's over. Look. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah he's, I guarantee Well, he that. might get it right here off the two. He might even go in behind that gap. Yeah, and exactly. Next. Yeah. yeah. Why not? That's what I would. Because he's got all those safety balls. Seven, the, the seven, six ball. Yeah. Six, four. No, he's, I yeah, he's going. Why would he do this when he's got perfect angle? Well. Now, this. That was oh, he's going this way. He's going to shoot the five now. But why not go the other way when he's like perfect? I don't know. What is, it doesn't matter. You know, Bobby, it's all we're, – we're up here, you know, with a different point of view. It's all his perception from where he's yeah. at. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah these, are like, these are like shooting ducks in a – Ducks in a barrel. <laughs> he's not taking a lot of time with this wreck, is he? Uh-uh. Not like the last couple. He just needs to – Snatch this one back. Yeah, for the seven. Straight draw. Straight draw. That's good. 
Dennis executes well. And right now he's trying to execute Rodney Morris. Eight ball in the corner pocket. Game number five for Dennis Orculio. Rodney kicked that ball in. <laughs> I don't know how many matches in a row Dennis has won on the loser side. It's a bunch. Dennis finished fourth in the uh, U.S. Open 10 ball tournament. Got knocked out by Shane. He would have had to play. He might have had to play Shane if Shane would have been here for his match with uh, Raphael. Shane got confused on the time and slept the match, and he did something that I've never seen him do. He actually forfeited. <laughs> yep. But you know what, Bobby, all the years I've been around, almost every player I know of has misread the board or had somebody read the board for them and tell them incorrectly. It's happened. Look at this. Can you believe nothing's going? Wow. And the stripes are hanging again. Yeah, this is a nice spread here. Everything's going Dennis's way now. The only ball he's got that's funny is that uh, 15 sitting over here on the side by the, by the six. But I think it'll go if he clears a couple of these yeah. other stripes out first. Yeah, if he moves in balls, it goes. But he better do it quick. He don't want to leave it till the last. You know what I mean, Jay? Yeah, I know what you mean, but Dennis moves around those balls pretty good, though, if he has to. Yeah. You know, he might be trying to shoot the 10 quick. Watch. He might get down there and try to shoot the 10 next. If he spins down there, watch. You're right. You called that I'm one. I'm hitting him good. I told you. You've been hitting him good all week, Bobby. You've run out like uh, hundreds. Run out like like water. What did I right. say? You ran out like water. Yeah. Now he's going to go back down table. He'll use that. He'll save that 14 ball for yeah. last. Yeah. Well, once these balls get out in the open, Dennis is deadly. He's stronger than soap. That's what we used to say. This guy is stronger than soap. Stronger than lye soap. Stronger than, ooh, that's really strong. <laughs> right. Okay. Just hold the ball right up there like that. Fast rack for Dennis Arculio. He's closing in on the goal line real quick here. Not much drama right now in this match. The other matches today have had a lot of back and forth and intrigue. But right now this match is all Dennis. If it weren't for that one lucky kick shot, <laughs> it might be seven to nothing. Kick that ball in from nowhere. Yeah. Hey, Mike DeShane made a shot in the match against Rodney that was unbelievable. Really? Yeah. He was straight in on a ball on the side, and he had to go down table uh -huh. and get past a ball. There was a ball in the way, and he had to get up to the – his last ball was up, you know, at the far end rail. Uh -huh. And he was straight in on a ball on the side, you know, across the table. Uh -huh. He's like here, here, like this. And then the ball here, and there's a ball in the way. Mike, Mike hit that ball with inside English, made the ball jump. That's and go over here and then come back for perfect position. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how he did it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The crowd the, went crazy. I know the shot you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. It kind of jumps and curves. I know. Yeah, it, it jumped and then it curved around. Yeah, I know the shot, yeah. I mean, my goodness. 
But yeah. to be able to execute that in a match, and he got perfect on the night last ball then. And we were, and Kenny and I were sitting up here and said, well, how's he going to get to this ball? He can't, there's no way to get to this ball. Did he make something? Yep. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Well, they're, they're all clustered. No, look. They're all yeah. sitting. Yeah. Shoots a 10 and just look. He's going to get out. Oh, again. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. If he can shoot the 10 and just draw back in all, you know. Then he's good. He's golden. Yeah, everything's yeah. hanging. Look, dink, dink, dink in the side. Look at this. He made some stripes. Just like that. <laughs> he's going to lightly run into the 11 here, I think. No, unless no, he can draw back. He's he going to draw, draw back. back. He might be shooting yeah. 12 next. He'd like to draw on that a little bit more. No, he's good. Now he'll draw back, shoot the 12, then the 11. Then you the got 11. it. You got it. You got it. Another fast rack here if he can. You know, I wouldn't leave that magic rack hanging over the pocket, but anyway, it's not a foul if he hits it. I know that. Boy's balls are breaking good, too, buddy. Two really – well, he's going to jack – you know, he's okay. He's jacked up over that five ball, but I don't this, think that's going to be a problem. That's an easy shot. He's playing too good right now. He's not going to mess up. Boy, Dennis is – he's on cruise control right now. And Rodney's stuck in reverse. Yeah, he's in trouble now. 7.30. Hey, we may yet have the finals go off at 8 o'clock at the rate this is going. Uh -huh. Again, three, six. Look nine. at the spread of these balls and nothing went down. I mean, this is a beautiful looking spread. Boy. You know, if the, if the four goes, he's in, he's going to shoot the four, roll over and shoot the two. He's, he's over again. I wouldn't. He can't take the stripes here. No way. Yeah, I think he's going to open with a three ball. Why not? Well, you know, I'll tell you something, Bobby. I know Dennis really well. And if the balls are all spread out like this, it doesn't matter which he takes first. He'll, yeah, he's going, he's going back to the three ball. He's going to try to get on the next. Whatever ball he shoots next, he's going to try to fall on the four. He, whatever ball he shoots next, he's trying to get on the four. Then the two. After he makes it two, it's over. I call him the little monster. That's my nickname for RoboCop because I've seen him devour a lot of good pool players. Arguably one of the greatest pool players on the planet. Considered number one in the Philippines. Look, he's going to play on. He's, he's going for the four next. Watch. Did you ever read the article in ESPN magazine? The About Money it. King of the the Money King of Asia? Oh, I know. Yeah. It was a great article. It was a great article. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. I'm hitting them good, Jay. I, I really just I can I can feel my patterns. <laughs> well, you're calling them right. He, I, I, I'm not so little, sure. You got a little bit he's gonna tight. He's going to jack up on this one. I don't like jacking up like that, but he's he's okay. Oops, 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 yeah, he's okay. Oops. He's all right. He's all right. Now he's going to run into the 15 to stop. He's playing with such confidence right now, Bobby. He he should hit the 15 here. Watch. Just roll, knock it out of the way. Yes, sir. These racks are going fast. He's getting a lot of he's getting a lot of nice layouts. You know what I mean? Every yeah. time he gets up, it's like. Yeah, but he's taking advantage of them all too. Oh yeah. Well, that's. Uh, Everything's straight in. 
Come on, give him a little credit. <laughs> This guy's a good player. I'm trying to tell you how good a player is, and you're telling me was they're all hangers. <laughs> he hit them all good. He's right on the money. Rodney's laughing. He's 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 smiling because it's just it's gone so bad for him this match. And then Dennis is breaking on the hill. One more big break like the last few and. Rodney won't even get to come back to the table. Dennis is breaking good. If he keeps breaking like this, he's going to he, he, Well, what? that's the difference between how he played yesterday. He struggled yesterday because he, he, he his broke, break wasn't working. He broke for two days and didn't make the ball. And here he is. He's still in the tournament and he got a chance to win. Shows you how good a player is. You know, a great player can win ugly. But right now you're seeing a great player win pretty. No it's doubt. not over yet, though. He's got to, still got to get that last game. We both know that the first and the last game are the hardest ones to win. I mean, Dennis was had Raphael buried. You didn't see that match. He had him buried and weak at eight to four, and then Dennis made one mistake, and all of a sudden it was eight to six, and Raphael breaking, and it got a little bit tight. Look at this. Yeah. You know what he's going to start with? The, Not sure. The three-way combination. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. There Clears you go. everything. Yeah. Boy, he is breaking good now. If he can continue this, that against Mike DeShane. This clears everything. The six is going to come out between the three and five if he hits it hard enough. And the 14 moves. Watch. No, but that's, everything's hanging again. Well, these balls are breaking really good. This could be it right here. Just roll this five ball in. Yeah, it's over. No, no he's going to shoot the three instead, slide over, maybe hit the 11. Or Let's just see. swipe like that and shoot, and shoot the six. Yep. Yeah, because he can shoot the five in the side or the corner. This could be doom for is Rodney he Morris. The, is he hitting the 11 here? Might, he might hit it here. Why not? No, he went through didn't the need gap. To, yeah. Didn't need to. Didn't need to. Look Dennis Orcullo in high gear. He's going to roll forward, shoot in the side. <laughs> Rodney throws in the towel. Resounding victory for Dennis Orcullo. 45 minutes and it's over. Coming up next, Mike DeShane, Dennis Arcullo in the finals. Rodney, that was a tough match there, man. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to try to do that second ball break like him, but I didn't do it the whole time. So I said, you know what, if I do it, I'll probably jump the ball off the table, but you can't, nobody's going to be. Well, you know, he breaks like that. And, yeah, and you know, but you know, Rodney, your break was working. You were getting the balls all spread. I, we couldn't believe nothing was going down. All of a sudden, I don't understand. It was just dead racks every time. I think it was my punishment for losing the last match when I spent a one. You know, that's the karma. Hey, listen, third place ain't so bad, buddy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's better than fourth. <laughs> you know, they got 5000 for you waiting, yeah. man. Nice. We got 500000 Was it? Oh, it's not golf. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, thanks, buddy. All right. Good luck. All right. Dennis. What'd you do to that break? You look like a different man today than yesterday. Yeah, I, you know, and and be, and the beginning of the tournament, I started breaking solid uh, on the medal, but uh, it wasn't work. So I find a way uh, uh, to you know to make a ball. So now I I figure out how to break, how to make a ball every time. So second ball, so I go for it. So and then yeah, I started 
I start very well, you know, and Ronnie, every time he broke, a lot of dry, so every time dry, you know, so I have a lot of opportunities. Well, not only did you break good, but the runouts, you made the runouts look easy. <laughs> well, I got a lay easy layout right here every time I broke, you know. There's some uh, difficult uh, the few games, and every time, you know, every every shot, every single shot, I have to... Uh, I have to take it easy, you know. Uh, me, I just make, I just put my mind to run out, run, rack, run out, you know, finish the rack. So, right. are you ready for Mike Deshane? Yeah, I'm ready uh, all the time. Dennis, you won a lot of matches on the loser side <laughs> to get here. Yeah, I feel tired, you know. Uh, yesterday I got five matches, and today I got four matches. So, so every day uh, a lot of matches, you know. Before you win the tournament, it was about 13 matches. So it's well, I promise you, this is your last match. Yeah, this is last match. Uh, fine, uh, of course, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for all the fans, you know, and the tournament sponsor, you know, so everybody. Of course, Roddy Morris would like to congratulate. I know they trying to he trying to play hard, you know, and he didn't make it and get a little bad rolls right. All right, I'll give you a little break. You got 10 minutes before the final.